Changes in materials from liquid to gas. Evaporation. It is no taking that in our previous lesson, you have learned that there were some liquids that can change into solids. That process is what we call freezing. Very good. Now, in our lesson for today, you will learn that there are some liquids that can change into gases. The question is, what would happen to liquid when heated or exposed to sunlight after some time? Hmm. Now, let's begin our lesson. But first, I want you to listen to a story. Take note of some important details. Are you ready? John, a grade 3 pupil from Angeles Elementary School, was curious on what will happen to water when placed under the sun for a certain length of time. So, he decided to do an experiment. He put about 10 ml of water in a container. Then, he placed it under the sunlight. He observed that after 60 minutes, the water became less. Let's try to answer the following questions. Number one, where did the water go? What do you think? Do you have an idea? Hmm. Number two, what is the effect of the heat of the sun to the water. What do you think is the effect of the heat of the sun? Any idea? I will give you time to think. For number one, the answer is it has already evaporated or turned into gas. The water evaporated or turned into gas. Number two, when water is heated, it evaporates. The molecules move and vibrate so quickly that they escape into the atmosphere as molecules of water vapor. Do you know that the process of changing liquids into gas is called evaporation? When water is boiled or heated, its volume slowly decreases, since some part of it turns into gas, which is called water vapor, that rises to the air. This is why water becomes less after it boils. Have you experienced this, children? Same thing happens when you pour acetone in an open container. 
After some time, you will not see the acetone anymore. This is because it has already evaporated or turned into gas. Now, let's have an activity. I want you to get your paper and pencil. Let's try to answer the following questions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, you play with your friends and you sweat too much. What form of matter is sweat? A. Gas B. Liquid C. Solid D. Solid and gas You play with your friends and you sweat too much. What form of matter is sweat? A. Gas B. Liquid C. Solid D. Solid and gas Number 2 After playing, your sweat dried out eventually after a few minutes. It became black. A. Solid B. Liquid C. Gas D. Liquid and gas After playing, your sweat dried out eventually after a few minutes. It became blank. A. Solid B. Liquid C. Gas D. Liquid and gas Number 3 Your mother is cooking your favorite soup. What happens to the soup if it keeps boiling after 30 minutes? Your mother is cooking your favorite soup. What happens to the soup if it keeps boiling after 30 minutes? A. Decrease B. Increase C. Remains the same D. Cooled Your mother is cooking your favorite soup. What happens to the soup if it keeps boiling after 30 minutes? A. Decrease B. Increase C. Remains the same D. Cooled Number 4 What do you call to the water that has turned into gas during evaporation? A. Air B. Ice C. Water vapor what do you call to the water that has turned into gas during evaporation? A. Air B. Ice C. Water vapor Number 5 What do you call to the process of changing liquid to gas? A. Evaporation B. Melting C. Solidifying What do you call to the process of changing liquid to gas? A. Evaporation B. Melting C. Solidifying
Remember, phase change can happen when the temperature of the material is increased. Phase change can happen when the temperature of the material is increased. 2. Evaporating happens by increasing the temperature of the materials. Evaporating happens by increasing the temperature of the materials. Third, liquids can be changed into gases by evaporating. Liquids can be changed into gases by evaporating. Let's have an activity. I will read a situation. Write your reflection in a two to three sentences using the guide questions. Do this on a sheet of paper. Here is the situation. Last Saturday, Gina washed her clothes and hang it outside under the sun. After eight hours, she got all the clothes, folded it, and kept it in the wardrobe. I repeat, last Saturday, Gina washed her clothes and hang it outside under the sun. After eight hours, she got all the clothes, folded it, and kept it in the wardrobe. Now, write your reflection in a two to three sentences using these guide questions. What do you think happened to the wet clothes after eight hours? Two, what do you think happened to the water that disappeared? Three, what was the effect of the heat of the sun to the water? Four, what change in material took place? Try writing your reflection by answering these guide questions. I will give you enough time to answer. Use these guide questions to in writing your reflection. Number one, what do you think happened to the wet clothes after eight hours? Two, what do you think happened to the water that disappeared? Three, what was the effect of the heat of the sun to the water? Four, what change in material took place?